Hey what's going on guys this is Ali welcome to part 4 of this tutorial series in last tutorial we have learned that how can we save record but we have still two issues number one is when I add new record the pop-up model is still displaying and not closing automatically and the data table is not reloading automatically so click on add employee press save the new record has been added successfully but the pop-up model is not closing automatically and the data table is not reloading automatically we need to resolve these two issues write the id of pop-up model This will hide the pop-up model after successful saving the record. Okay. Now I will use the add method to add new row. And you can see more detail about add method of jQuery data table on data table's website. Okay. Let's first create a variable. And initialize it. We need to call the draw method. This will display the newly added record. Okay, save the changes and refresh the page. Add new record. Press save button. Okay, new record is added successfully without reloading the whole page. Okay, now we will add one more column to display buttons to update and delete record like this page. Okay, go to the table section. and create a t-head section here title will be action and I have already typed the code I will just copy and paste it here ok it's straightforward code guys Okay. Save the changes and refresh the page. So the buttons are created successfully. Okay. Now we will create an action method in employee controller to delete record. Go to employee controller. We will get this message in Ajax, okay? The 
Ethan Jason. Now we will call this method in Ajax. Guys, we forgot one thing here. We are using CSS classes, so we need to put a dot here. Okay, save the changes and run the project. So press delete button. Press OK. The record has been deleted successfully. Refresh the page, and the record is deleted successfully. Okay. Guys, if you notice, it is deleting record from database, but it is not refreshing the data table. Okay, to do this, flip to Visual Studio. We need to call the remove method of jQuery data table. Save the changes and refresh the page and we will try to delete one more record and see what happens. Now it's perfectly working, okay? That's it for today guys. In next tutorial we will see how can we update record using Bootstrap pop-up models. So please rate, comment and subscribe my channel and watch the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.